and welcome to the GC channel to our virtual audience around the world. This is a channel especially for general counsels and in-house legal teams by general counsels. We're going to be covering some of the most trendy topics that are keeping you up at night and we really hope that you'll find the next few minutes insightful and useful information. Talk to you very soon. If we look at that example in, in particular, um, you know, and, and like you said, I, I, you know, as a former general counsel myself, I know that sometimes the uh, the, the beating of the drum is is to uh, to create some some degree of uh, alarm and, and concern. And in external counsel, uh, you suddenly become very dependent on them, but not to vilify external counsel. Uh, obviously, they they are there to to provide support to you know all of our offices around the world. They're there. Uh, to, to be able to minimize those risks, what advice can we provide to, to the external counsel, to, to the offices that are, you know, the foot soldiers that are in the trenches, that are on the ground, and that they, whose support is invaluable to the general counsel and the in-house legal team, so that instead of creating uh, unnecessary drama, they align um, their interests in, in terms of providing succinct and valuable advice to an in-house counsel that wouldn't know uh, what you just said uh, briefly about Vietnam. So how do we, how do we encourage the external um, law firm, the external counsel to be much more succinct and to the point so that the, the general counsel, the client would feel uh, supported, heard and, uh, and protected? Well, that's why you always have to go beyond just looking at what's, you know, published in the regulations and actually you know, uh, uh, talk to someone on the ground, like in our, in our, in our uh, member law firms and find out what's, what actually is, is the, uh, uh, is, is the, the current practice and interpretation of, of the relevant enforcement bodies. And, and, uh, and it, it, it always helps to, to, to talk to people who are there on the ground and are, 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 are connected know what what the practice is obviously from one country to another there there are big differences in terms of of transparency and what i would call latency you know what uh, how how long it takes for for um, interpretation and enforcement practice to get reflected in the the uh, the, the written policies and and uh, and regulations that 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 appear to outsiders and uh, and that can be a real problem for for global companies that that have a, a headquarters in you know in uh, in in New York or or Berlin and are trying to actually understand what's going on in in Shanghai or or uh, or, or Caracas, so it, it it always helps to be able to talk to to a uh, uh, to someone who's 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 in a firm that's that's you know actually located in in country and, and knows what's going on. So we'd like to thank you for your attention in the last few minutes. We hope that you found this GC channel broadcast insightful and useful. And uh, we look forward to having your comments to make sure that you subscribe and you leave your questions with us. And we promise that we'll get back to you very quick.